Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Cancer. This is going to be your beginning to middle of October spread. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, I am so excited to announce I just opened a spiritual store on Etsy. I'll be posting more products and ritual sets later this week, so definitely go check that out. I'll have a link for that down below. Also, before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading. And also, the number 121 might mean something for some of you guys, okay? Okay, so um, let's just hop right into it. I see... You're being asked to let go of the past to make an ending that makes room for new opportunities because it's time for you to move on in a situation. Okay, I'm also being shown a broom. You're being asked to sweep out that old energy so you can bring in some new energy for yourself. Okay, for some of you, I'm seeing you've been in like a relationship for a while with somebody. Uh, for others, I'm just seeing it's like you're not in a relationship with this person, but you've been dealing with them for a long time. Okay, and you are being asked to sweep out that old energy because it's time for you to move on and bring in some new energy for yourself and you're being asked to have great great inner strength needed to overcome challenges and to make this fair and objective decision for yourself to clear out that old energy to bring in that new okay and i see you're being asked to be practical with respect to how you proceed really consider carefully what you want before acting because it's time for you to take charge of your life because I see it's like you want something more meaningful, spiritual, emotional, something with depth here. I just see it's like you overall you just want more for your life and you're realizing that it's time to move on here. And I'm just seeing for a lot of you too, it's like overall you just want a better quality of life for yourself. And I'm seeing it's like you're tired of dealing with this mess here because I see over here it's becoming um, quite the burden okay so it's becoming quite the burden for you becoming really heavy and I just see it's like you're being asked to walk away from this so wonderful news can come in so that good energy can come in okay because I am seeing wonderful news is on its way but it, you are being asked to let go of belief systems and people that no longer work for you first okay because I'm seeing an important life-changing event will happen as soon as you let this go a situation is going to lead to significant opportunities and doors being open for you okay but it's time you let go of this situation this person because I see this person is leading you down a tower moment and you already learned your lesson from this person or people like this, okay? Uh, for a lot of you, I'm just seeing it's like you already learned your lesson from this person or people like this, okay? Um, yeah, you learned your lesson here from dealing with these flighty, immature people, these people that come in and out, these people that are immature, these people that are not responsible or reliable, okay? And you are being asked to stay grounded during this very emotional experience because even though you learned your lesson with dealing with this person, I'm still seeing some of you are wanting to reach out to this person, okay? Um, I'm still seeing some of you guys want to reach out to this person even though you learned your lesson here. And you're being asked to take your emotions out of this situation situation and use your logic here okay because there's a need to act quickly and decisively and logically okay so you can have a commitment to your spiritual growth now when my cards come out reversed is very rare but when they do it's like a very important message okay because i see this as you guys going backwards because this is about having that commitment to growth that commitment to self um, that commitment to your spiritual growth here. And it's like you learned your lesson here. You know this person's unreliable, immature. They're not going to change. But I still see you guys wanting to reach out to them. Okay, and it's, like I said, you got to take your emotions out of this situation. Use your head here logically. Okay, so you can have a commitment to your spiritual growth because you're being asked to not accept this behavior. Okay, you deserve way more than how this person has treated you and how this person is acting. Okay, and it's time for you to really, um, have a lot of self-respect here, have integrity for yourself, and not to accept anything less than you deserve here, okay? Because this, like I keep hearing, this behavior is not acceptable, all right? And you are being asked to, like I said, have that commitment to self-growth here, soul growth, spiritual growth, and to make a decision with um your logic, with your mind, okay? Not with your heart, because I'm seeing it's like, I'm just seeing you're being asked to stay grounded during this time. I just see you guys are very, um, I just really see you guys as being really into this person. 
Like this person kind of like sweeps you off your feet here and you are being asked to stay grounded because this person is no good here. This person is really immature, flighty, in and out, okay? Um, but it's like even though you guys learned that lesson, I'm still seeing whoever's connecting with this is still wanting to reach out here. So take your emotions out of that situation and have that commitment to your spiritual growth here because that behavior is not acceptable. But I'm just seeing it's like you guys really want... And again, it's like you guys really want emotional fulfillment with this person, with this particular person for a lot of you, okay? But this person is not able to give you what you need, okay? I'm just saying it's like you want this emotional fulfillment from this person in particular here, but this person is a user, okay? And this, this is not a stable foundation for, with this person that you have, okay? Um, this is a faulty foundation, there's no stability with this person, okay, and I'm seeing as well, you know, you're being asked to do the right thing for the right reason, okay, I see you want something traditional, okay, and you are being asked to stop putting your energy into something that's not growing and start putting it into yourself because the best investment you can make is in yourself, okay, and once you put that energy into yourself, you're going to flourish and you are going to heal, okay, healing is really important for you guys right now. All right, because I see you're being asked here to make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Okay, because you're at odds when you're at odds with yourself when you're with this person. Okay, you guys have a lot of fun together, but you guys are on two separate pages. You want something serious, this person does not. Okay, and you're being asked to make the choice that's best for you. Um, and like I said, make the choice that's best for you because you guys are on two different pages here. Okay, and you're being asked to move along in your journey into the next chapter. Okay, because I see positive changes are on the way. A welcome relief from troubled times. I am seeing you are going to get the blessings from the burdens this person put you through. But you need to clear away all that no longer serves you first. You need to walk away from the situation first. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay, and I definitely see for a lot of you, um, it's like, yeah, Saturn I went direct on the 18th. And basically... For the last five months, a lot of karmic situations and people were all being dredged up here so you can purge it, okay? So you can purge it and so you can gain those blessings from dealing with those burdens from those karmic situations, right? But I see for some of you here who are connecting with this, it's like you kind of, it's like it became the burden it was, but I don't see you closed it out right away. I see you tried to kind of stretch it, trying to hope this person would change here, but especially with Pluto going direct, Pluto went direct today or tomorrow, um, the second or third, I forget which one, but Pluto is going direct here and Pluto is not going to let this slide. Pluto wants you to level up here, okay? So this is going to be really bringing a lot of your attention to this matter here so you can close this out and so you can gain the blessings that you're supposed to here, okay? Because I just see for a lot of you guys, whoever this is is kind of stubborn, like, no offense or anything, I'm just seeing it's like, I'm just seeing it's like, Pluto is not going to let you get away with this here, okay? Because what needs to end needs to end. I just see the planets are really, this is about working with the planets. Don't work against the planets because when you work against the planets, you're going to deal with all the burdens, the stress. Um, and it's really time for you to like really be empowered right now and use these lessons working with the planets to your favor so you can maximize your blessings here okay because I see one you already learned your lesson from this so you should be getting blessings from dealing with that okay when we learn our lesson we get blessings and then it's like if you follow what Saturn's saying you know closing out this karmic cycle you're going to get blessings as well as Pluto because Pluto wants you to level up here so this is going to help you level up and get to the next chapter in your life okay um like I said earlier, it's time for you to take charge of your life here. It's time for you to take charge of your life because I see you want more for yourself and you want a better overall quality of life here, okay? And it's time for you to move on and go into the next part of your journey so you can receive all the blessings here. Um, I just see someone here who's just really kind of, like someone here really doesn't want to let go here. It's like they know this person's wrong for them, but it's like they still want to um give into this situation and for a lot of you like it's kind of like you're just hurting yourself here okay so just be really mindful of of your actions during this time okay because 
I'm really seeing for a lot of you, like I said, it's Saturn and Pluto are really wanting to work with you here. So you can get your blessings, okay? Pluto is not going to let this slide. They want you to level up here. And Saturn wants you to get your good karma from dealing with the burdens that this karmic situation has brought you. It's time for the blessings. So don't block your own blessings by trying to um, get emotional fulfillment from this person because this person's not going to be able to give you it, okay? And it's just going to waste your energy. All right, so uh, don't accept anything um, less than you deserve, basically, in this situation, because, like I said, this behavior is not acceptable, and it's really time for you to invest in yourself here, clear clear away all that no longer serves you, so you can receive these blessings that want to come, excuse me, that want to come in for you, okay? Excuse me, by the 17th of October, you're really going to be feeling it. If this situation isn't closed out by the 17th of October... I'm just seeing it's like you're really going to be kind of going nuts with yourself. It's something about talking, speaking up to this person or saying no. It's like you have a hard time kind of doing that here. I'm seeing it's like you don't want to disappoint this person or you don't want to hurt this person or you don't want to say no to this person. I just see it's like you want to please this person. And I see that very sexually as well. It's like you just want to please this person. But it's time for you to do something that's right for yourself. And it's time for you to really, like I said, invest in yourself so you can flourish here. Okay, because this person is just going to waste your time, your energy. And like I said, you already learned your lesson from this. The soul contract is complete. With Saturn, soul contract was complete. Okay, um, you, you learned the lesson you were supposed to hear. So it's time for you to close out the cycle so you can bring in that new energy. Okay. Because like I said, this soul contract here is definitely complete. But I just see someone here who's trying to kind of like wait. It's trying, Someone's trying to like wait here for this person to like magically act right. But this person's like really shitty. This person's a user. And um, it's like this person's unable to give emotional fulfillment because this person is... Like a, like a non-playable character in a video game, basically. If this person was just here for your soul growth, I hope that makes sense for whoever's tuning in. Um, and I want to see you guys get your blessings here, because it's like, I'm just seeing like a dam. It's like a dam, and like on the other side of this dam is like all the water, all the blessings that want to pour in for you, and then it's like this person and situation is the dam. So it's time for you guys to break the dam so you can get those blessings that want to come in. Um, cause I'm just feeling like some type of frustration here and it's like those blessings really want to come through for you. So like I said, if this situation is still active during like, um, this until the 17th, I'm just seeing by the 17th, there's going to be something significant here. That's going to make you have to make this decision to clear away all that no longer serves you. Okay. So, um, that's what I'm really seeing for you guys. Um, some signs you could be dealing with and also like you know if this doesn't your reading if this doesn't resonate with you it doesn't resonate with you for whoever i'm speaking to this could literally be only one or two people i'm connecting with here because i feel like this is very specific i feel like this this is for the people that didn't close out the cycles when they were first supposed to okay so like if you already cleared away all that no longer serves you this probably isn't your reading i'm just connecting with some people here who really need to hear these messages okay so Definitely don't force feed the reading. If it's not for you, it's not for you. And that's totally fine. You might find something from my old videos. Um, you might find something from like two months ago that can resonate with you now because time is fluid. And definitely feel free to check back with me next week. I might have something for you here um, next week. But for right now, this is who I'm connecting with. This is the storyline. This is the plot here. This is for the people that need to catch up basically so they can receive their blessings. Like don't miss out, okay? Um, so some signs you could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, um, a Libra again, an Aries, um, you'd be dealing with another Cancer or an air sign with Cancer in their chart, or you can be an air sign, or you can be, yeah, an air sign with Cancer in their chart, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing something about air and the Cancer sign together though, alright, and, um, I see Virgo, Aquarius, um, Gemini. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Um, I will catch you guys next week. And make sure you're checking not only your charts, but your partner's charts as well. And make sure you check out the Etsy store. I will be posting up more products. Yeah, more products and ritual sets sometime this week. Okay, and I'll have the link for that down below. All right. 
Bye. I'll see you next week.